Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich as the Minion of Canada. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we actually have troops over down here in southern France, so we're you know, making a little bit of progress, but apparently we're losing this battle, but it's going to last 4,800 days. So, I'm not too worried about the French actually making a breakthrough. Oh uh, yeah, we're at war, unread naval convoys. Yeah, I'm going to say that we... Yeah, we uh, killed a decent... Well, we killed three convoys. We actually lost some planes, though, which kind of sucks. And who are these? These are... What we should actually do... Should we... We can get military access through the Germans. But I don't know if it's actually worth sending troops up here. Maybe we did that... Maybe if we just did that a lot earlier. You know, when the French were maybe, like, here. We could have maybe stopped the advance on Berlin, but it's a little bit too late for that now. They do control that city, and I can't imagine if the Germans are going to last too, too much longer. I mean, they're not close to capitulating anymore. If you look here at the, the wars tab, uh, the Dutch-French war, they're only 63% uh, to capitulating. So they could probably take the mainland of Germany, but because they did annex the, uh, the small guy... I guess not really small, he's like half of Africa, but uh, he, they annexed uh, Middle Africa... They should probably have a lot more victory points. Let's see, do they have cities down here? Like, are they considered core provinces? Yeah, they're core states now, so... Germany probably won't capitulate, so that's good. It's good for us. Because then, you know, France basically can't just annex all of these guys straight up. But, you know, but let us continue on the war. Uh, is there any more troops actually arriving? No, it does look like everybody's actually shown up now, which is nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of French troops. Missing production equipment. Yeah, we're still missing a bunch of planes. We just don't have enough, we don't have enough factories to build those planes. And our planes right now, are they still set to... Yeah, set it to, like, low. Because we don't have a lot of planes. And actually, right now, they shouldn't be even be over Scotland. Like, that's just a dumb place for them to even be. Uh, so select all the planes... Is there anywhere, like, down here we can put them? No, like, if we just took that province, it would all be great, but... I guess we'll go to, like, down here? I doubt they'll have the range to go to southern France, but... We shall see. It's, it's better than them hanging out over, you know, Ireland, or over Scotland and it's getting shot down. Because that's not benefiting us in the slightest. We got a little bit of a naval engagement over here. We got some battleships. Hopefully we can actually sink some of them. But I'm kind of having some of my own doubts about that. Uh, we're currently losing that battle. But even then, like, we're still actually winning. Interweeks of no missions. Can you guys actually... Okay, the strategic bomber can. So I guess that's better than nothing. But, like, he is a little bit weak. Yeah, night and day. I mean, yeah, sure. Strategic bombing? Yeah, just bomb some stuff in southern France. I'm sure it'll be all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Go on for another five days. Like, why are we losing? Like, we have bonuses here. They have a negative penalty. Like, it's 419 against 26. With basically no breakthrough. So... I don't think... Let's see, their breakthrough right now is 31. Our defense is 400... Like, 472 on some of these guys. Like, I, I can't see them actually breaking it. Even though they say they are winning. Maybe we just have, like, really low organization. We're currently losing here as well. Just with so much defense. Is it, Are they just, like, really weak? No, because it's the yellow bar that's strength, right? Yeah, they're still basically completely fine. Uh, let's see. We got five guys here. If we attack here... Then they should have the penalty for attacking multiple directions. You have minus 50% to each stat. We got an eight, uh, another pilot, so that's nice. Yeah, but if we can't really push through, then I'm not going to risk it. How are they? They just have, like, no organization right now, which kind of sucks. And the supply, I remember the supply being fine. Uh, yeah, 31 out of 43, so they should be completely, you know, well-armed and stuff, you know, not gonna run any problems there. Oh, how did that battle- we lost? Well, we sank seven battleships. 
We lost some destroyers. Uh, we lost some like cruisers and some planes. But I still feel like we came out ahead on in that. But maybe I'm wrong. And how long until these ships are done? These ships are still going to take about four more months to the last ship. Okay. When somebody said we should probably cancel tungsten trade. Oh, because we just have a huge export. Or we just have a huge surplus. Yeah, no, okay. I, I can understand why you'd want to get rid of that. Uh, importing one, surplus one. So everything else seems fine. Surplus eight. We're not importing any rubber. So yeah, that that's fine. We get a little bit more factories now. Well, I guess these guys in this province, they should probably, like, pull back. It sucks that we have to kind of abandon that province, but there's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of French troops over here right now. Like, a stupid amount of French troops, actually. I mean, I'm hoping we don't need to just abandon here. But we might have to. I mean, let's see. Let's look at these casualties. We left 21,000. The French have thrown like 100,000 men at this assault. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like, we started this episode with them at like 70,000, and now they're at 113,000. I mean, we've taken more. We've basically got like 10,000 more ca casualties. But I'm pretty sure the French have taken like 70,000. So, I think we're doing pretty alright. I mean, Britain hasn't really taken any. Most of our allies haven't done anything except for national France. But they're not even here right now. Yeah, they have one division. So thanks, France. You're really helping us out. I mean, the French do have a lot of troops. Uh, probably like 150 brigades, which is a lot more than we do. We have, what, like 50, 60 brigades, I think? Uh, let's see. We have 70, which is actually a lot more than I thought, but still. Let's just train up some more troops. Uh, how is uh, logistics going? Minus 8,200 rifles. That's like, it's not too, too bad, really. It could be a lot, lot worse. But I think, like, we have a decent position here. Like, if it, it, come, if it comes close to we're going to lose, then we might just pull back into France. But, you know, these casualty numbers are looking pretty alright for us, I have to say. And now that Germany won't capitulate because they own Africa, that basically does mean that if we want to, we can basically station troops somewhere up in, like, Prussia. Yeah, because they're probably not going to capitulate. I can't... At least I hope they're not. If they do, then we're kind of screwed because if they capitulate, then the entire uh, Middle Europa faction just capitulates as well. Which would mean, like, Baltic... Like, all these guys basically just leave the war immediately. Including uh, this part of China, but I don't even know if they're really doing anything. Like, I think it said they had no casualties in the war, so I don't even know if they're really participating. At all. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 33, 6 days. I think we just need more organization. It's too low to actually advance. Which kind of sucks. I don't want to I don't want to leave if I don't have to. And can we retreat? We're not allowed to retreat. Cannot enter province. Yeah, I think we're about to I think we're going to leave France. Uh let's take a quick look. 149,000 casualties. We lost like 2,000 men. They lost about 30,000. So Even if we have to leave here, it was still a successful raid, I would say. 92% uh, for participation. So we need to get them down to 25%. Which is pretty low, to be fair. I'm just hoping, will they just get shipped back up there? It's Yeah, I think they're just going to go straight back up there, so... Whenever these guys get back... Nope, yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. No, I don't want you to go there. Like, just stay in this province. I'm gonna even throw you under a new general, just so you can go here and then kind of just 
stay in Algiers for a while. We'll put you back to the other 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 armies later, but for now, we're kind of fine with how it's going. Uh, let's see. We got field hospitals. Uh, let's get the logistics company as well, and then we're gonna throw these guys onto our infantry. Right. Uh, we want the field hospital. Save that. We do have a lot of uh army experience, but we, we don't really have tanks, so I don't know if it's really worth getting it or using them, especially since I think we are actually getting the uh, yeah, the 1936 tank. We're still a little bit far behind on tech tank technology, but could be worse. Another defeat. Or is that the same? I think that's the exact same fight. Yeah, no, we already saw that. It's fine. You, you can go away now. Yeah, so the fighters can get over there, but the fighters can at least go over the Mediterranean Sea. Air superiority. I don't know if there's any ships here or any planes at all, but... I mean... Well, I guess we are getting an encirclement penalty. So, Australia. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice. I would say leave. Don't be here right now. But we are going to go to Tunis. Goodbye, France. Australia, you should definitely join us because you're not going to survive. Delete these plans. So let's take a look at these numbers now. 166 to 25,000. I think those were... I think those were fair numbers to trade off. I don't know where Australia went. I think they might just got immediately overrun, but... Sorry, Australia. Not much we can do about that. We don't, how does France have 23% war participation? That's crazy. They absolutely should not have that much. I feel like uh, Flanders over here is actually doing pretty well for themselves. All things considered. Like, Ireland's still doing okay. Uh, we got some battles going on over here, but that should be pretty easy for them to take care of. So, I'm going to have you guys combine into this army. So, we're going to have a 13 and 24. Or 13 and a 14. You know, you should just be one army. And then put you under, like, this guy. There we go. Uh, and you definitely should be two different colors, not the same one. So let's have a pink army and a green army. Let's make sure they're different colors. So where the hell should you guys actually go? Because while the plan, I think, worked out fine, it was not uh, sustainable. There was no way we were actually going to be able to hold that forever. So if we can do something else similar then I think that's what we're going to want to do. Like, if we can, like... I don't know. I feel like we need to basically just throw, like, thousands of troops into, like, Prussia and just kind of, like, hold this river. I don't know what river that is, but just kind of hold it. Or hold, like, this river here. You know, maybe that maybe that is what you're going to do. Uh, Not a front line, like a fallback line. Give me military access. If we can just make like a fallback line there. And just kind of hold the river. These provinces connect. I think they absolutely do. So let's edit this. And just kind of hold that line. So you're not even the French garrison anymore. Now you're the, uh, the German garrison. So let us rename you to German, it's hard to type with this key microphone in the way, the German garrison. So yeah, we'll just have you kind of do that. You go up there. Uh, For now, these guys are just going to garrison northern France. You know, do what they were doing before. You know, let them get up a little bit more strength. Like, these guys have taken a decent amount of casualties, which kind of suck. Um... I mean, we've only taken like 25,000 casualties in total, which isn't a lot. I don't know how many we took during the uh, the campaign in Nepal. I, I think over there it was probably like 15,000. But it might have been a lot less than that. I'm just, I'm just, I don't really remember. And I kind of wish India would, you know, support some or supply some more troops, or that Australia would supply these troops to go somewhere more useful. Actually, maybe it's because they don't have enough convoys. They have 113 convoys. How many convoys do I have? 225. I'm gonna go with saying that it's probably because they just don't have the convoys to do it. 
Oh, they've already taken the river? Okay, German garrison, uh, that's not going to work. Hold Hamburg. Go to this port. That's your job. This is this job over that, that's that's defunct. Get rid of this. It's trash. Cause they've already they've already made it past the river. If we can hold Hamburg, at least that's you know the current German capital. I mean, there, if we can, yeah, like there's nowhere we can really hold. That'll be good. Like we can hold up here near Denmark, but I don't think that's going to really help us too much. And I'm hoping you guys don't get caught out by any like German or not German, any uh, French or British fleets, because that would be pretty pretty bad. Did we lose one of our navies? Where are you guys? Why are you guys over here? It's because they're repair- I guess they're- they've gotta be repairing. No, you guys definitely are gonna engage, like, as soon as possible, but you should just head back over here. Now they're repairing. Why do you gotta repair it? Like, right now, in the middle of the war. That's a dumb time to repair. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but still. You should repair when it's convenient for me, not when it's convenient for you. Man. Belgium, how are you do- You have three to five brigades, how are you- How are you serve- How are you existing? Like, there's just gotta be a ton of troops here. That I just can't see. Yeah, so the French garrison, you- Alright, guys are fine. So the United States definitely is not having our civil war. Like, that's just not happening. But I still don't want to move these troops off the border just for the slim chance it does. I mean, it is 1939, so... I can't see it happening. Also, I want these guys to only deploy, like, once. No more than that. What, what's wrong with you guys? You don't have artillery? Why do you not have artillery? We're only making two a day. Okay, well... We kind of need everything, don't we? Like, we don't have enough fa military factories right now in our country. I mean, we're building some. But I don't think it's enough. Also, uh, land doctrine? No, we're still getting land doctrine. Artillery? Get the new one. Absolutely. Like, you like us. Kurt read some can. I don't know what that means, but you should join our faction. Not aggression pact? Just fight war gold? No, I don't think that's going to help us at all. Okay, so we founded the CBC. Uh, that gave us a modifier. What does that do? National unity plus 5%. Okay, well that's good. Kind of. Uh, National Research Council, just give us more research slots, absolutely, and we can modify our government. Foreign Minister, so we got this guy who's an infantry defense guy. Do we have a, like, is there not an offense guy? We can add even just even more defense. Artillery attack plus 10%. There we go, 15%. We've got social conservatives. Are the only guys with, like... Why is the guy who says- no, that is a defense guy. If we defense an attack, but you're- you're a communist, and we're kind of at war with them, so... I feel like that would kind of be bad for us. What we could do is we can just, like, throw as many defense guys on as possible. Have, like, 50% defense. And I don't even know if that's a bad thing. The word Terran. Like, is there any guys who are like infantry defense, but. Artillery attack, artillery attack. No, I think we're just gonna throw as many defense guys. I know they're part of a different, like, uh. Political I ideology, but I, I'm th I think it's fine. It's, it's not gonna be a big deal. Oh, our troops are actually showing up. Fantastic. Yeah, if we could just kind of hold this line, help the, uh... 
How are you? How are you guys already have like no organization? I'm assuming it's just because you got off the boat. Yeah, but just hold this area. You know, let's try to at least hold like some more cities than that. Okay, 86, 87. So we should win here as well. But I do want to have like a Flanders division just kind of guarding this area. And they've actually pushed their way into France. I'm very, very proud of them. But I do think that this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Renee If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Now, don't cut us down. Watch some more, subscribe, and goodbye.